and your guitar. Hello and welcome to another edition of my custom guitar build which hopefully you've been also following in Play Music magazine. This week it gets kind of exciting because I'm going to assemble the guitar into the dry build so I can check out that it really is going to work before I start varnishing the body and finishing the thing off. Last thing I want to do is make it look all pristine and then realise, well, I wish I'd put the jack socket somewhere else. So, here goes. I've yet to drill the holes into the body for the scratch plate. Um, now I'm going to leave the neck on for this exercise because the combination of um, the neck socket and the cutout round the bridge plate means it's really quite rigid where it's held. Because what you don't want to do is drill one hole, then have the plate move, drill another hole, because of course when you come to put the screws in they won't all line up. In this case, no such problem, hopefully. So here we go. You'll notice I've um, put some masking tape on the drill to stop it going in too deep. Well, it's hardly going to go in so deep, it's going to come out the other side of the body, but nonetheless no point in drilling the holes any deeper than they actually need to be. By now most of you have probably seen me do my neck remove with the strings on trick enough times to be bored with it. Um, okay the next thing is I'm going to put the electrics in. At this stage because this is only the drive build I'm not going to shield the back of the plate all the cavities on the body because I'll do all that when I do the full assembly I'll um, paint the cavities before I put the, the finish on the body um, so that I don't risk getting black shielding paint on my nice new finished body. See the wire, I just need to pull it through. Ah, there we go. Okay, we now have the base pickup wire and the treble pickup wire, both of which you can see here. The wire in this fella is going to be fun, isn't it? Okay, we've also got the earth wire. To just sneak under the bridge plate here, like so, before we tighten that bridge plate back up, so that we don't get like an earth hammer. these screws have never been driven in before into these holes so they will be a little bit stiff compared to if they'd have just been taken out and put back in. Uh, as you can probably tell I'm getting slightly out of breath putting this lot in because there's what 10 screws in the plate and uh, of course not only are they driving into holes that have no threads in them but this is you know a nice hard piece of maple I'm screwing into here. Not the most forgiving of woods. Not like uh, screwing into alder or something like that, which is relatively soft, or even mahogany is quite soft. OK, 
Okay, let's get the neck plate back on. Always a good precursor to tensioning the strings, make sure the neck's actually joined to the body. It does help. Oh, I was fine anyway. You would prefer to sort of use slacker chimneys. I'm joking, of course. Right, for the first time in ages, I can now take the masking tape off and string her up. And I've got to say, she's starting to look quite like a guitar, which is great. Because that's what I'm aiming for. Anything less is called an ornament, if you know what I mean. Although I'm not going to get into the details of setting up intonation in this video because it's been done many times before and there's a PDF about it on the Play Music website, I'd just like to point out that Trev Wilkinson has come up with something very ingenious which is you can actually adjust yeah, the angle of the bridge pieces so although it's a traditional Telecaster 3 section bridge you can fix the intonation for the individual strings and then all you've got to do is put an allen key in there in the top there and lock it in the right position and you should get a perfectly intonated guitar which I think is brilliant 